What's up everyone, Amen Villa here. IGN has recently uploaded a first gameplay clip of Sonic Frontiers. And after watching it, I have some mixed feelings about it. Let's start with the positive. The overall aesthetic of the game looks great. It's unlike any Sonic game we have ever seen before. Instead of cartoony assets, we have realistic looking water, vegetation, and rock textures. I have seen some people saying this makes Frontiers look like a fan game, and while I do have to agree, I don't think that's a bad thing if the game looks sharp. We have never seen Sonic in a world like this, and I think it's unique and a breath of fresh air. But yeah, the game kind of looks like a fan project. Another positive is the open world. Sonic is free to roam around. He can interact with objects around him, and that's just flat out cool. I've always loved running around with the press X to go boost mechanic and breaking objects with the homing attack in older titles, so the fact that I have a new world where I'm free to just do whatever I want is a dream come true. There are also many small challenges to complete. I don't know why, but I'm getting Lego game vibes here. I've always been a sucker for the basic challenges in Lego games, so to see some Lego-esque puzzles in Frontiers brings back some nostalgia. The music of this stage is fantastic. It fits the world perfectly and just makes me want to explore and run around this unreal and an assets playground, but because this is a Sonic game, music was never a worry. Sega composers don't miss. All in all, I have to say I'm impressed with the world and opportunities Sega has built for us. However, there are negatives that I just have to mention. First of all, the physics just feel wonky. Something's off. Like when Sonic has to go fast, he goes too slow, but when he has to go slow, he goes too fast. At one point in the gameplay, Sonic has to go up a 90 degree wall. He takes a boost pad, giving him speed, but then just suddenly stops, and then starts climbing slowly, not picking up much speed, and then he starts running again at a fast-ish pace. He went from fast to slow, then slowish, then fast again without a considerate push in speed. What's also weird is that he manages to climb a similar wall without ever slowing down. I'm not sure if that's a bug, but if it isn't, someone at Sega needs to be fired. But then I also saw instances with the exact opposite problem. There is a section where Sonic has to take a sharp turn, except you can clearly see whoever is controlling the blue guy is tippy toeing across because one slight joystick movement and Sonic goes flying. His momentum curve isn't exactly tuned properly for an open world game. His speed grows exponentially but plateaus too quickly. It works for a linear level but not platforming where you need precise controls. There's also the occasional instant camera angle change but I've seen this in older Sonic games so I can forgive it. What the heck is going on with the rings? I actually went back and looked at Generations gameplay and the ring physics are completely different. They seem magnetically attracted to Sonic, but when he touches them they don't disappear instantly either. But then at one point he collects coins and they disappear instantly when he touches them, so I'm not sure what's going on here. There have also been remarks of the map feeling empty, and while I do think the map requires some vast spaces due to Sonic's boost speed, it does feel a little bland. There are no enemies, just plants. It feels lifeless. What's a Sonic game without smashing some robots? But finally, this brings me to my biggest complaint of all. There is an insane amount of texture popping. Seriously, I hate texture popping. Like you're just playing a game and BAM, a tree loads out of thin air, or an NPC goes from polygons to an actual human in an instant. Or even worse, when you're watching a video and suddenly a don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button icon appears. Don't you just hate it when that happens? Now, if this gameplay was running on last-gen consoles, I can forgive it due to old hardware. If this is running on new-gen consoles, yikes. The whole point of the SSD upgrade was to reduce load times and prevent texture pop-in. If this is running on new-gen, I'm really scared to see how it runs on old-gen, especially the Switch. Oh lordy lord. And this brings me to the closing point of this video. I'ma be completely honest, I wouldn't mind seeing this game getting delayed. I've always been supportive of delays, whether it being movies, animes, or technology, if it means we get a better product in the end. A perfect example of this is, funny enough, the Sonic movie. Yes, Sega still has time to polish everything, but with the release date being at the end of this year, I don't know how much time Sega actually has for polishing. The list of problems is pretty long, and while they are minor, they still require some time to fix. In my Sonic Frontiers trailer video, link in the description, I stated that the fan response was the best way of knowing how a game is going to be received, and I've been mostly seeing mixed feelings about this showcase, in fact, I've seen more negative comments than positive. Long story short, wherever or not this game gets delayed, Sega's got some work to do. The last thing we want is Sonic Frontiers to become another Sonic 06. 
a game with immense potential, yet horrible execution. So for this video, oh my god, there's combat gameplay now. Yeah, this script was pretty much completed and then out of nowhere, iGen decided to drop some combat gameplay. So that's pretty cool. I won't dive too deep into it, but overall, it looks so freaking cool. Sonic now has new moves other than his homing attack. I mean, one of his movesets literally the Aura Aura Punch from JoJo. What's not to like? The enemies shown are all new, and look pretty good. My only complaint is that the enemies don't really do much, they just stand there. But this is a demo, so maybe Sega modified them to focus on Sonic. Man, I'm so hype, hoo-hoo! <laughs> but anyways, now it really is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and sticking till the end, and I'll see you next time.